Good day class! Our topic for today is about the music of the Renaissance period. The term Renaissance comes from the word renaitre, which means rebirth, revival, and rediscovery. The Renaissance period is a period of looking back to the golden age of Greece and Rome. The invention of printing in the 1400s paved the way for a wide distribution of Renaissance compositions. With the emergence of Burgess class, Renaissance music became popular as entertainment and activity for amateurs and educated. The influence of the Roman Catholic Church started to decline as the new music genre arose. Through sacred music was still a great importance, secular music became more prominent in the Renaissance period. This era was also known as the Golden Age of a cappella or choral music. Other historical facts during this era is the discovery of the actual position of Earth in the solar system by Copernicus. The invention of compass creating a wider navigation not only on the lands but also of the oceans. and Martin Luther's Protestant Reformation. What are the characteristics of a Renaissance music? It is mostly polyphonic. Imitation among the voices is common. Use of word painting in text and music. Melodic lines move in a flowing manner. And melodies are easier to perform because these move along a scale with a few large lips. Regarding with the vocal music of the Renaissance period, we have what we call the Mass. It is a form of sacred musical composition that sets texts of the Eucharistic liturgy into music. We have five main sections of Mass. We have the Kyrie, Lord have mercy, Gloria, Glory to God in the highest. Credo, I believe in one God. Sanctus and Benedictus, Holy, Holy and Blessed is He. And Agnus Dei, the Lamb of God. Another vocal music of the Renaissance period is what we call the Madrigal. Madrigal is a secular vocal polyphonic music composition which originated from Italy. It is written and expressed in a poetic text and sung during a courtly social gathering. It is the most important secular form during the Renaissance period. The characteristic of the Madrigals are the following. We have the polyphonic, sung in a cappella, through compose, and frequently in three to six voices. We have two famous composers of the Renaissance period. We have Giovanni Perluigi da Palestrina from Rome, 1525 to February 2, 1594. He is said to be the greatest master of Roman Catholic Church music during the Renaissance period. He was committed to sacred music and has a keen interest in satisfying the desires of church leaders in the 16th century. His career reflects his commitment to the music of the church. He received his early training and spent the majority of his career in various churches in Rome, including the Pope's Chapel. He was an organist and choir master at both the Sistine Chapel and St. Peter, which may have influenced his distinctly pure and restrained style in musical composition. He also served as an organist in St. Agapito. His first book of masses became popular and was greatly appreciated by Pope Julius III. Giovanni has two sons, 
but lost them both during the plague epidemic that struck in Rome in 1570s. He has planned to become a priest but eventually changed his mind and married a wealthy widow. Another famous composer of the Renaissance period is Thomas Morley, 1557 to 1602. Morley was born in Norwich, East England, the son of a brewer. He was a singer in a local cathedral from his boyhood and he became the master of chorister there in 1583. Thomas Morley was the most famous composer of the secular music in his time. He was a singer in a local cathedral during the childhood and he was believed to have studied music with William Byrd, an Elizabethan composer of sacred music. He tried imitating Byrd in his early works but veered towards composing madrigals that shows a variety of color, form, and technique. Most of his madrigals are light and easy to sing with some aspect of Italian style. Shortly after, he began publishing his own collections of madrigals and made significant contribution to the history of music. Some of his works include Fire Fire My Heart, Sing and Chant It, Fantasy, April is in my mistress' face. It was a lover and his last.